Hi, Peter here. I wanted to do a brief presentation of the new stamps we have included in Soup Stamps version 3. First, I would like to apologize for my cold if I sound strange. As you may have heard, you can get Soup Stamps version 3 for only $5 when you upgrade to the new Snagit 11. Okay, let's get to it. Super Stamps version 3 is jam-packed with over 1300 stamps, so forgive me if the video is moving fast. So, here we are in the Snagit editor, and I've taken a screenshot of a map and an email. So, let me demonstrate the new stamps. We have had a lot of requests for numbers. Here are the original 100 numbers that came included in the, the previous version of Super Stamps, and we have now added uh, 3D numbers up to 20 in blue and orange. Here's an example. Let's place a number 2 here. This is the original size. So you see it comes in about 500 times 500 pixels and uh, very nice quality there. You can decrease and we can also look at the orange. The orange also comes in 20 numbers in three angles. 21 actually with, because 0 is included. Here's an example of the orange one. So, as so. And then we have added more numbers. We have added something we call raindrop numbers, which is looking like a raindrop. It comes in 0 to 20 and 4 angles for you to show if you're, for example, working with steps in a screen capture and you want to show step 1, step 2, and so on. And they uh, actually decrease in size very nicely so you can use them uh, as, as small or if you want to use larger ones. Uh, we have also added more simple numbers, four series, uh, blue, green, orange and red. And I've worked a lot with the different colors and the color combinations for, for them to be as clear as possible and tested different versions. And each series comes in, in 21 numbers, 0 to 20, and in two sizes for, you, for your work to be faster. So you want to work, if you need to work with small numbers, you have them already prepared. Or if you want, prefer to work with larger numbers, like that. They're set up like that. So it's actually four new series of these ones. Let's take a look at the red one there with a the white press. Uh, so that's the whole series of numbers. Then we have a new series, uh, and we have the old series, Dark Glass, that was included, and has been very popular. It was the winner when we tested different stamps for the previous version, if you haven't seen them before. And the next one is Glossy Glass, which is a new series, which is a three-dimensional. Um, Put an example, if you want to do a report, show statistics, you can create a powerful impact with it. If you just want to point out something with an arrow, there are arrows included. The, you see that it takes a little time to load here, it is dependent on the size of the stamps. Uh, so can see a little overview more here. This is what's included. Okay, on to the next thing. We have the glass circles. They're transparent circle units. Now it came out a little bit. Here is the correct one. Also there's a slight shadow included in it but if you want to add on the shadow it will get a darker uh, darker look. Arrows, road signs from previous. We have added a few more road signs. Do not enter stop and so on. Uh, we have the text bubbles, we have the technology stamps from previous versions, we have the jelly, one of the winners from the last voting as well. Very popular, I've heard many times. And now 
here's the actual size of it put a question mark on Russia and that's the yellow series we have the bubbles buttons blank that you can use for your own texts put one there and then you put a text field on top of it you have to hold down the alt if you're gonna place it to be able to write so you press the alt key to write on top as so a little small text but And we have, what do we have more? We have the symbols from previous series. The neon rectangles, good for pointing out a particular thing. This is the actual size, they're quite large as you see, and they scale down very nicely if you wanna use it for smaller things. Uh, we have flags, a new addition to version 3, we have added 55 flags, we will add more, but at this time we have taken the ones that we found that will be most useful uh, for you, we hope, and they're also quite large initially, so there you see it, can, now can delete a little, down a little bit here, and delete some of the previous ones to not to clutter this as much so much oh it's just gonna drag the US flag to the United States there we go one one problem that you see if you're having a stamp marked and you change stamp it's going to change the stamp inside the image so to not have that problem you have to click kind of outside the stamps when you have a stamp marked we were at the flags here and also another quick trick is if you want to have stamps in the same size you know that the stamps now the flags are pretty big so if you want to place a number of stamps in the same smaller size you can then copy the smaller one and then I, I paste it in and then I change to another one there we go Sweden and we can paste in more Britain and they come in the same size so that's a trick to fast work in the same sizes with stamps oops so flags what do we have more we have 3d pointers uh, it's also a new thing and it comes a number of arrows and pointers for you to really get an impact we have worked a lot with getting these tri-dimensional and pointing inwards into the screen so if you want to point to something and make a real impact also some arrows versions of these to really create that impact in your screencasts. Uh, we have special characters 3D, also a new one. Uh, if you wanna use, bu if you wanna have bullet points in a report or something, you can create really impactful bullet points. You have currencies, trademark, exclamation, question mark, and so on. Could come in very useful, I hope. Oops, many, many here. Let me clean out a little bit. What do we have more? Special characters, that was what it was. Stickers, also new. Lots and lots of new stickers we have added. Good for reporting, uh, schoolwork, for teachers, academics. You can create impact. 
you see when it's marked okay. there we go they are 256 times 256 Here they, they come with a slight shadow, here was more shadow. This is how they look originally, so you see a slight shadow and then if you want to add more shadow you can do that, like that. Uh, so uh, that's that, we have a little more, we have the last new part is overlay effects and even if you don't see them here, this is uh, effects that you can put on top of uh, other things so you have you want to have a little potpourri or a little to make an extra impact you have a if for photographs you can do a lens effect kind of big so we will decrease it a little bit uh, so you have a lens effect you can also, this one you need to work with the opacity a little bit, maybe decrease it like that to get a slight less effect. If we, we want to, I will take that away now. We, we have a couple of stars, the overlay effect. Let me go back there and click outside and then add it. Have it. Let's take away the shadow on that one, and you see you have a little shimmering effect. You want to make shine on something, and we have a bigger one. For better quality, you can decrease it a little bit. Uh, as so, and that's pretty much what's included. And I hope you will find this extremely useful. Um, we have a sneak preview. Uh, bonus thank you stamps is coming with emoticons is coming with as a bonus uh, some love from uh, from done for happy valentine's day and uh, another uh, the free pack that we are giving out is also coming uh, coming included mm -hmm. so that's an overview of super stamps i really hope you liked it and i'm sorry the video went so far uh, if you're interested in more stamps, you can go to snaggyguide.com to check out more stamps. We're continuously releasing it. Uh, thank you.